What changed? Chinese car buyers love plenty of rear legroom. Audi delivers by stretching the regular Q5 premium compact crossover by 3.5 inches to make a long wheelbase version. Since cargo space remains the same, maximum 54.7 cubic feet. Those extra increments are for the sole benefit of rear passengers. When is it available? This is the tricky part. Audi doesn't sell every one of its products in the United States, so it might not bring over the Q5L, which will be made in China. But sufficient customer interest could sway things. How much? From around 380,000 yuan, $60,000. What changed? The drivetrain, for one. Instead of the conventional gasoline engine in the regular X3 compact crossover, which is an all-new generation for 2018, this version is propelled by battery power. BMW claims a range of 249 miles. The other big change is that it will be built in a new plant in China. When is it available? Once the Chinese factory gets up and running. The all-electric X3 could reach the United States by 2020. How much? Too soon to tell. What changed? As much as the regular 365 horsepower M2 is a glorious little performance coupe, more power is always good. This competition version has 405 horsepower and 406 pounds to feet of torque, plus an array of extras to complement the muscle, such as a sport exhaust beefed up brakes, and an optional top speed of 174 miles per hour. When is it available? Summer 2018, replacing the current M2. How much? Pricing will be announced nearer the on-sale date. The current M2 starts at $55,495, so add a little more. What changed? Once an all-American mark, Buick is now a China-centric brand. So here is yet another all-electric crossover idea. This midsize F has a claimed range of 370 miles. The Chevrolet Bolt F, another GM product, has a range of 238 miles. So this could be feasible. And naturally, there's a ton of oh wow technology like a head-up display using augmented reality. When is it available? It's a concept, so no production version yet if at all. How much? Not on sale. What changed? This is an all-new generation of Ford's superb compact car. It's roomier than the outgoing model, safer, more aerodynamically efficient, and comes with technology more common in luxury cars. It will be made in China and sold there. When is it available? Ford recently announced it will sell only two cars in the United States the Mustang and the Focus Active. This latter model is the new Focus, but only in hatchback form and given a mild crossover treatment. It's expected mid-2019. What changed? When the calendar clicked around to 2018, it marked the 50th anniversary of Jaguar's flagship XJ line. So the company is commemorating this event with a special XJ50 edition. The editions are mainly cosmetic including a special design of 20-inch alloy wheels. Engine choices are the usual 340 horsepower supercharged V6 or the 470 horsepower supercharged V8. When is it available? Later in 2018. And only the long wheelbase version is coming to the United States. What changed? This is an all-new generation of midsize luxury sedan. We say midsize but the S is built on the generous side. This car usually prioritizes comfort and Lexus is sticking with the formula. However, an F Sport package will also be available. Standard equipment includes Wi-Fi and Amazon Alexa connectivity, like the outgoing range. The new model comes as the S350, with a 3.5-liter V6 or the S300 hours hybrid version. When is it available? September 2018. What changed? After turning crossovers into four-door coupes, see the GLE and GLC coupes, Mercedes-Benz alters its approach to bring sedan style to a large luxury crossover. The result is, in the company's words, an ultra-modern SUV of three-box design. This super-sumptuous 750 horsepower vehicle is powered solely by electricity, with a claimed range of 200 miles. 
and it can be charged wirelessly. When is it available? It's a concept, but this is a taster for the Mercedes Maybach GLS due in 2019. What changed? The S90 we know about, handsome, large, luxury sedan. The ambience concept is an extra feature envisioned for the limo-like excellence variant sold in China via a phone app. The user can create moods with visual elements projected on the ceiling, northern lights, Scandinavian forest, etc., audio accompaniment, including special tweeters in the headrests, and even some appropriate aromas coming through the vents. When is it available? Volvo says the ambience concept was created primarily for the China market. But never say never. What changed? Car manufacturing methods might soon be receiving a huge shake-up. We're mentioning this electric vehicle because it's a little piece of history in the making. It's the world's first 3D printed car. About the size of a smart. Valsef still uses some conventional components, like suspension parts, windshield, windows and tires. But 3D printing is on the rise. Mini offers customizable trim pieces and Bugatti has a brake caliper in development. When is it available? At some point in 2019. In China, at least.